This video is brought to you by Elementor, an intuitive front-end website builder for WordPress. Since they launched in 2016, they've got over 4 million installs with over 3,000 five-star reviews. So what are you waiting for? Get yourself a website that you're proud of, click the link down in the description, and you'll help out the channel, and you'll help out yourself. In the meantime, on to the show! Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're looking at one of the key methods for monetizing your music, distribution. We'll talk about what it is, how it works, and how to get it. Get ready to take some notes, kids, because it's time to take your music global. If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share, and uh, yeah, let's go. In the age of COVID-19 and social distancing, making money while making music isn't what it used to be. Instead of booking gigs and selling merch at shows, musicians are transitioning to live streaming concerts for donations, and setting up online stores. One option that hasn't changed, however, is the ability to sell your music worldwide by using distribution. But what the heck is distribution anyway? According to Heather McDonald from the website thebalancecareers.com, music distribution is the way that the music industry makes recorded music available to consumers. It's a core aspect of its business model and it makes it possible to purchase most music in stores or download or stream it online. While this statement does a pretty good job of describing what a distributor does, it doesn't exactly break down what they do. Let's dive in. Generally, a distributor works with a record label to sell that record label's products. Distribution companies are the links between labels and retail outlets including record stores and anywhere else you might buy music or merchandise. Depending on the situation, the distributor might just buy the album outright from the label, setting up their own contracts with the retail outlets on the back end. Other times, a consignment might be arranged either way, and the distributor typically makes two deals to get product in consumer hands. Now, that's the way it used to be. But with the advent of music downloads, <laughs> physical retail media sales took a hit until 2019 when vinyl records started selling more units than they had in the last 30 years. <laughs> How did this change the distribution dynamic? Well... DENIED! First, most of the distributors closed with only the few affiliated with the major record labels hanging on thanks to their access to Amazon, Spotify, and other online streaming services. Then, the ever-growing DIY movement of artists got a huge boost from Chance the Rapper's 2019 Grammy win, a history-making event that showcased the complete digital sales record. Distributing directly to consumers is even available on iTunes and Spotify now. Looking to the future, distribution of physical copies of your work is still needed, though on a lesser scale. This necessitates that distributors work with digital outlets as well as brick and mortar sites. As you can see, today's distribution deals are very different from the contracts of yesteryears, which leads me to the next topic. How do you get a distribution deal? This is just a brief overview, but the steps are fairly self-explanatory. We start with number one. Ideally, have a label on your side already. A distributor wants to know that you have a framework in place able to consistently provide product as it gets placed in outlets by them. Number two, shop them like a label. Instead of sending a distributor your demo, they'll be sending them the finished product that you're hoping to place in stores. Pick and choose who gets your business by doing your research on some of their other clients. Number three, make your pitch. If you don't already have a press package, including press release, bio, 
photo view, and press pack, it's time to make one. There are tons of resources online if you need guidance. Number four, have a plan. If you can't afford to hire a professional PR company or radio plugger, have a professional promotional plan ready to show distributor that you mean business. Be specific about your targeted audience, your targeted publication audience, and methods of promotion. Number five, get down to the details. How many releases will the distributor want to start? How will they handle reordering? Who pays for manufacturing? What's the distributor's cut? These questions and many more need to be addressed in writing before a deal can be finalized. Number six, what's your type? There are many different types of distributor ranging from indie to major label. But for pitching purposes, there'll be two you need to know, Clearinghouse and Selected. Clearinghouse works with pretty much anyone, while Selective is, well, Selective. They pick and choose who they deal with. For more information, do an online search for these terms. Whether you're trying to sell your first album or trying to open an existing market, distribution is becoming more and more necessary in these uncertain times. Do your homework, don't give up, and you'll be amazed at what doors might open for you. This high level overview of distribution is just the tip of the iceberg, but I hope you understand a little bit more of the wonders and vagaries of distribution and the opportunities it represents. If you have a distribution deal, please feel free to comment below with your experience so we all can learn, or whatever else you feel like saying. In the meantime, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, please click down here and don't forget to ring the bell. Appreciate you watching. Remember to stay amazing, stay safe, stay strong, stay making music, and I'll see you next time on Room 6.